everyone. Let's continue with our informational writing. In informational writing, authors include many facts or true things because they want to teach their readers about a topic. In yesterday's lesson, you have picked a topic that you would like to write about. Today, we will begin our writing. The structure of informational writing is very similar to the other types of writing that we have done earlier in the year. There's a topic sentence to let the readers know about your topic. Then there's the body where you state your three facts. Last, there's a closing to let the readers know that this is the end of your writing. Authors begin their writing in different ways. In the past, we have learned to start our writing with a sentence like this: "Let me tell you about," and then you put your topic. Today, I would like to introduce a new way to start your writing, which is to begin with a question. The topic that I would like to write about is rugby, so I could start my writing with a question like, "Would you like to learn more about rugby?" Or, "Do you know there are many rules in rugby?" Or, "Have you ever wondered who created rugby?" What we are trying to do is to make our topic sentence interesting. So we can hook our readers and to make them want to read our writing. The thing I will start my writing with: Do you know that there are many rules in rugby? After that, I will write three facts about the rules of rugby. In rugby, players need to pass the ball behind them. Another rule is a player needs to tackle another player below the shoulders. Also, a team gets five points when a player scores a try. There are two extra points if a player kicks the ball between the posts. I'm going to end my writing with these are some rules in rugby. Now it is your turn to begin your informational writing. I would like to challenge you to try starting your writing with a question. After you finish your writing in your writing journal, remember to take a picture of your work and upload it onto Seesaw. Good luck. See you in the next lesson.